If you had to pick the single greatest race of all time, which race would you choose? There's the 2004 Olympic 1500 meter final, where Hisham El Garouj finally won his first Olympic gold. Then there's the 1972 Olympic 800 meter final, where Dave Waddle from the United States made a massive comeback down the home stretch. Then there's also the 2013 Great North Run, where three of the greatest distance runners ever, Kenani Sabakele, Mo Farah, and Haile Geber Selassie, battled it out in an epic finish to the victory. Indeed, there are countless races to choose from when searching for the greatest race ever. But one of the most common answers to this question is the 2012 Olympic 800 meter finals, where David Rudisha from Kenya broke the world record with an epic time of 1 minute 40.91 seconds. What made this race so special wasn't just Rudisha's dominant world record. Yes, he did lead the race all the way from the gun, and yes, he became the only athlete still to run under 1 minute and 41 seconds. But beyond just this insane 1 minute and 40 second two lap race, was what happened behind Rudisha, as every athlete except for one set personal bests in this race. And the slowest time, the slowest time in this race, was 1 minute 43.77 seconds, a time that would have been fast enough to win this year's Olympic 800 meter gold by well over a second. Yes, the Tokyo Olympic race was much more tactical than the race back in 2012, but still, the depth of quality and speed in this race has since gone completely unrivaled, making this moment, in the eyes of many, the single greatest race of all time. Just to medal in this race, you had to run faster than 142.82 just to medal, and that's a time that would ultimately place you as one of the 30 fastest athletes in the entire history of this event. Indeed, this race set a new standard for 800 meter excellence, and while Rudisha led the way for this two lap race, the man who finished less than one second behind this world record runner was one of the most gifted and groundbreaking athletes in history. With a finishing time of 1 minute 41.73 seconds, Nigel Amos from Botswana managed to absolutely crush the world junior record in this race, becoming the only junior athlete ever to run under 1 minute and 42 seconds. Also, this 141 performance was Botswana's very first Olympic medal ever, and it now placed him as the third fastest athlete ever in the 800, now tied to the 1 100th of a second with the middle distance legend Sebastian Coe. This performance was absolutely ridiculous. Coming into 2012, Amos's personal best was only 147.2, and over the course of exactly one year, he managed to slash over five and a half seconds off of his PB, easily one of the most dramatic rises of any athlete in track and field history. And to do it at the age of 18 is even more remarkable. To hold such a high placement in such an epic race is already a remarkable feat in itself. But this race is only a tiny piece to the amazing and also dramatic career of Nigel Amos. Throughout much of his 2012 season, Amos was improving at a lightning quick pace. For his season opener, he only ran a 151, and for his second race of this season, he still couldn't quite break the 150 barrier. However, on July 15th at the World Junior Championships, Amos placed first with an amazing kick down the home stretch, hitting an incredible championship record time of 143.79, a time that now placed him firmly in the conversation as a medal prospect for the London Games. The improvement of Amos over this Olympic season was insane, and with his 141.73, he quickly became one of the most compelling and talented two-lap athletes in history. With so much excitement surrounding this athlete, the future appeared to be full of endless world-class performances, and inevitably, probably more Olympic and World Championship medals. However, in the following year in 2013, Amos missed much of his season due to injury. For this 2013 season, he only ran four races in the 800, and yet he still ran a season's best of 144.71. 2013 was clearly not the season that Amos was searching for. However, come the 2014 season, Nigel Amos returned with a vengeance. At the Diamond League Monaco meeting on July 18th, Amos was set to race against a very competitive field. For this race, we had Marcin Lewandowski, we had Dwayne Solomon, Abu Baker Kaki, and Mohamed Amin. However, the athlete that everyone was looking out for 
was the GOAT himself, David Rudisha, who was always a threat over the two-lap race. Like many other Diamond League races, the first lap of this 800 was extremely quick, with the pace setter hitting a time of 49.4 through the first lap. This early pace typically favors the closing capabilities and strength of David Rudisha. However, on this day, Nigel Amos pulled out a big upset, running a world-leading time of 142.45, which at the time was the fastest time achieved since the London Games. This was quite the upset over David Rudisha, and as it turned out, this 800 meter race was a powerful foreshadowing moment, as just 13 days later, Nigel Amos once again shocked the world. For the 2014 Commonwealth Games in the 800 meters, Rudisha was set as the clear favorite once again, and as the finish line approached over the final 100 meters, it did seem as though he would come through with a victory. Coming around the back stretch, Amos was boxed in on the inside lane, and he still had a lot of room to make up on David Rudisha. But with a stunning final 100 meters, he somehow managed to catch the great Rudisha once again. This finishing kick was absolutely amazing. Even against the great world record holder himself, he had thrown down a fantastic final kick, paving the way once again for future 800 meter greatness. Just one year later, once again in the Monaco Diamond League meeting, Amos again dipped well under 143, but this time he only managed to play second behind Amel Tuka from Bosnia. With such amazing times over the previous few seasons, Amos was poised to become a world championship medalist in 2015, but once again, he unfortunately fell short of this goal, as he unfortunately failed to even make the finals, only running a time of 147.96 in the semis. By the end of 2015, Amos had run many incredible times after his world junior record back in 2012, but when it came to championship moments, his classic speed simply was not there. This unfortunate shortcoming would follow Amos through his 2016 Olympic cycle, his 2017 World Championships, his 2019 World Championships, and also his Tokyo Olympic pursuit when he only finished 8th in the Olympic final. When it comes to 800 meter greatness, Amos brings many of the fastest times in history to the table. In 2018, he once again ran incredibly quickly in Monaco, hitting a world leading time of 142.12. And come the 2019 season, he again managed to run under 142, hitting a super quick time of 141.89 in Monaco. And then again in 2021, Amos ran the world's fastest two lap race hitting a time of 142.91, and guess where he achieved this time? That's correct, in the Monaco Diamond League meeting. With so much talent, so many incredible performances, and such an insane world junior record, this special athlete from Botswana holds a very unique place in 800 meter history. However, since his 141 at the London Olympics, he has yet to earn a medal in any other global event. At 27 years of age, Amos still has many years of great running ahead of him, but can he ultimately earn another global medal before he retires? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.